Yes then YouTube, we are back with another video on the Wolf of an Aston Villa podcast. If you are new around here, please drop this video a like, drop a comment down below. You see I do reply to every single comment and hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Also, we are gladly sponsored by Loot Roper, loot1977.com. I'm sure most of you Villa fans will know who he is. Use the code WOLF20 at the checkout for 20% off absolutely everything, including your whole order and including sale items. So if you can do that, that would mean the world to me. So today's video is a video that I really, really did not think I would be doing. And that is, Aston Villa are interested in a Dharma Traore. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. I know how barbaric that might sound. I know he used to play for us. I was actually at his debut at Crystal Palace away when he came on for them last 10 minutes under Tim Sherwood. And I remember that walking out the stadium, I think we lost 2-1. I think he came on with like 10 minutes to go. Got like a, an assist kind of. He, he just ran down the byline, crossed the ball in. And it was an own goal. And then they scored like two minutes later and we lost 2-1. But I remember coming out of that ground thinking, wow, we got a player on our hands. And then he just never really did a lot for Villa, did he? And then he went to Middlesbrough. For all intents and purposes, actually did play quite well at Middlesbrough. Got the move to Wolves. I think it was Wolves after Middlesbrough. Yeah, Wolves. And then been there for many years. Did actually go on loan to Barcelona as well, but they didn't take up the option to sign him permanently. And now, I think the big thing here is YouTube. He is on a free. So, I'm going to show you this first of all. And that is, it, it did come from Football Insider. And this is why I wasn't going to do the video today. So, exclusive Aston Villa plot shock move for Adama Traore. So, I remember seeing that this morning on Twitter and thinking, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just... I'm not going to do a video on that. I was actually going to do a video on the Mings and Pal Torres about if they could play together, which I think I'll do tomorrow. But then someone that I follow, T, he is an absolute legend. And he's not an in the know as such, but he, he does know things. Okay, so he does. And he put that and I just thought, oh, it probably means absolute, just it's not happening, right? And then Milo replied to him saying any truth. And then T actually replied a little, yes. And I was a little bit like, oh... Right, and T did actually mention this a couple of weeks ago as well, that we are maybe looking at Dharma Traore. And I kind of thought, well, at the time I was like, oh, I don't buy that, I don't buy that. But then Footy Insider have then dropped in today. And I'm like, maybe we are actually interested in a Dharma Traore. So I'll tell you the plus sides, in my opinion. Of course, the plus sides are, he is a 100 metre sprinter. He is probably the quickest player I've ever seen on a football pitch. If you think Diaby's quick, a Dharma Traore is even quicker. He is just... I mean, the pace on that lad is something I've never seen on a football pitch before. He is ridiculous. He is a free, so there's no transfer fee involved. I want to say he is classed as homegrown now as well. So because he's obviously been at Villa, been at Wolves for many years now, I think he is actually classed as homegrown, which would help us in the whole conference league and stuff like that in terms of we do actually have to have four homegrown players. And funnily enough... We don't, Villa don't actually have that many homegrown players that are in our squad kind of thing. There are quite a few in the under 23s and or under 21s, whatever you call them. But in our actual squad this season, because a lot of them will probably go out on loan, you're probably looking at Cameron Archer, Jaden Philogene, and Jacob Ramsey. I think that's all you're looking at, really. Like, so it's mad in terms of like actual train from like the years of 16 to 18 or something like that. I can't really remember what the rules are, but a diamond rate is homegrown. So there is a premium in that. And the more and more I think about it, the more I kind of think, well, on a free, why not? Like, if we are going to sell Bertrand Traore, which I think we will, and we are going to sell Coutinho, we do need to replace them, right? And, and we do. And I, I did drop a video yesterday on Brennan Johnson. I think Brennan Johnson, Doku, Ferran Torres, these are the players that, if we are to sell Coutinho, I 100% think we'll buy one of them without any doubt. I think one of them three will come through the door if we sell Coutinho. And I've got a little feeling, YouTube, we will actually sell Coutinho as well. I can't see us not selling Coutinho, really, at this moment in time. But if we were then to sell a Coutinho and a Bertrand Traore, which I think we will. I think many of us will all agree on this podcast that Bertrand Traore will probably leave. Then I really do think that an Adama Traore would make sense in the right circumstances a if the wage isn't too big because i know he is a free transfer but a lot of the time when a club signs a player on a free transfer like we have with yuri tillemans they will then pay that player a very high salary like i, I wouldn't be surprised if yuri tillemans is now our highest earner at the club like that et echelon of wage because obviously the club aren't paying for the transfer fee so the club will look at it in terms of like well if we're not paying for the transfer fee then we can afford to pay him a little bit higher in the in the salary department right i'd probably say him drb 
Dinier, Coutinho, or that Pal Torres definitely is all around probably the same level now in terms of wages. So as long as the Darmashore isn't on them wages and he's kind of on like a um a Tyro Mings level weight, maybe even not even as high as that, but he's kind of on a wage similar to like a Bertrand Traore is, then I would be all for it. And I think as well, you got to remember, we are going to probably play a lot of football this season. Uh, like we are now seeded in the Conference League, so Juventus have been kicked out. They've been kicked out for a year due to FFP and all that. So you would like to think we will 99% sure get through the, um, the qualifying round in the Conference League and then we are going to have six... Thursday evening games in the Conference League in the groups. You'd like to think because we then are seeded as well, we're definitely going to make it through the groups, Touchwood. We're going to be playing a lot of football this season. Um, I think that I've been talking about it a lot, actually, on this podcast over the last couple of days, that I really do think Emery is going to play with four attackers this season. I think I mean, we've got a good enough midfield now in terms of like a double pivot, where it's like a, a Kamara Louise, a Kamara Tielemans, a Tielemans and Louise. I think we've got a good enough midfield that we kind of don't have to play that 3-4 in midfield. I've got one of the one of the attackers will be like a midfielder hybrid anyway, whether it be like a Buendir, a McGinn or a Ramsey. I think one of the midfielders will be that type of ilk of player anyway in terms of like one of the attacking roles and then I really do think we are going to play I think Watkins and Diaby are going to play every week I really do I think that well most weeks anyway I think Watkins and Diaby and I've got a feeling Diaby may well play in that second striker role from what I saw against um Fulham I, I could be wrong with that I just maybe got a feeling he might play in that second striker role. And then that leaves us with that right winger. And one of the big ilks that I would say about us signing a Dharma Traore is I am a big, big, big believer and a big fan of Jaden Philogene. And I have been this preseason again. Is it really worth signing a Dharma Traore when we've got Jaden Philogene that can play in that right wing, right midfield, well, basically right wing back role? Is it really worth it? I don't know. It will be interesting to see over the next couple of days slash weeks is this going to start coming out even more that we are linked with the Dharma Traore? Because, like I said, I wasn't going to do this video. I thought it was going to be absolute nonsense. I just thought, I'm not even going to bother doing this video. But then seeing T's tweet, T doesn't just say stuff. He only says stuff if he knows it. And the fact that he says there is actually a little bit of interest there, it, it could happen, you know. It really could happen. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Would you be interested in a Dharma Traore on a free? He would bring the pace. He would always just play in that right midfield hybrid role. That's where he'd play. He'd just play out on the wide right. Get the ball run down the line. 1970s football. I, in my opinion, on a free, would if the wages aren't high. If the wages are high, stay well away and give Jaden Philogene the chance. If his wages are like to that mid-range, I probably would on a free because I would find it a bit of a no-brainer. But... I'm really, like I said a minute ago, I'm a big believer of Jaden Philogene. I think this this kid can go places. I really do. And I think I think he's got the defensive discipline that Adama Traore doesn't have as well. Adama Traore does not have the defensive work rate at all. And Jaden Philogene, as we've seen in the preseason friendlies, does. He's tracking back. He's also got the trickery to go with it. He's only 21 years of age. So his potential is through the roof. I just really, really, really think we've got a chance. I really do. I, I think Jane and Philogene has got a chance to make it. And I feel like this season with the Europa Conference League will be his opportunity. But yeah, let me know. Drop a like on the video for me, YouTube. That would mean the world to me. Drop a comment down below. Would you sign a Diamond Traore? Yes or no on a free. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love. Up the villa.